What's up friends? Welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Go. My name is Rachel and today I want to make something beautiful for you. I've got this gorgeous new metal frame behind me, this arch, whatever you want to call it, and I'm inspired. So let's create something awesome. creation I'm going to be using three colors I'm going to be using cameo from tough decks I have that today in 11 inch 17 inch and also some 5 inch for detail I've also got rosewood from Zember Tex, mainly in 11 inch but I do have some 24 and 36 as well and then for detail I'm going to be using this really cute metallic pink that I got off of Amazon I will link that one down in the description below I know it's an unusual color so I will include an Amazon link for that one in the video description if you're interested I will of course be using my trusty really cheap inflator that I get a lot of questions about. I'm pretty sure I bought it for like $25. I have two or three of them around just in case this one ever breaks. It's been so good to me over the years and I've never had to fall back on that second one once. So I love this little guy. I do link that as well down in the video description if you're interested. It's super cheap. Like I said, it's not a professional grade one, but it's done the job really well for me so far. And the other thing I'll be using, of course, is this circular frame. This is also from Amazon and I will have a link for that in the video description as well. Now I will say that with this frame, they included a whole bunch of like strips of balloon glue dots, of like finger tying tools, little circle, circular things that go on the arch itself for you to like slot the balloons into, all sorts of that kind of stuff. I won't be using any of it, to be honest. I just want the frame itself. I'm gonna use my good old tried and true, my favorite method here today, which is 260s or even 160s if you've got them. And we will be inflating in pairs, tying little clusters together, of four, six, eight, 12, whatever you feel inspired to do. And then I will be connecting those to the hoop itself through these 260s or 160s. And I'm feeling inspired. I might throw in some little springy details here and there. And to do that, I will also most likely be using 260s. If I use anything else throughout the video, I will let you know. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you here. If you've been around a while, you've seen some of my videos before, this might look familiar to you. But what I love to do when I'm inflating and creating a, you know, balloon garland and arch, something like that, I like to dump out most of the balloons I'll be using ahead of time, kind of lay them all out so it's really easy to like pick and grab and just inflate, inflate, inflate and keep going. So what I'm going to do is lay out the bulk of what I'll be using for the, the main portion of the arch. Of course, for the detail, I'm going to add in some large balloons, some 24s or 36s, some 5 inchers, some of these special metallic ones as well. But for the bulk of the creation, I'm going to be using those 11s, those 17s, a few 5s, and a few of these glittery metallic balloons as well. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that out right here, make a little bit of a mess, and I'll get back to you. All right, so now I've got my balloons laid out both by color and by size. Now today I'm going to be doing kind of a mixed look. So I'm going to take, you know, one from any two colors I feel like, two of the same color. It doesn't much matter. We're just going to kind of mix it up, make it feel fresh and organic, whatever seems natural to you, okay? So I'm going to grab these two here. I'm going to inflate them at the same time, but to slightly different sizes. I don't want them to look identical. I want them to have that kind of variance in shape and dimension. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got them inflated to different sizes, I'm gonna let out a little bit of air while I simultaneously press on the top pretty firmly to give it that round bubbly shape that, you know, I kind of love. All right, just like that. Same thing on the other one. And there we go, we got two different sizes, some round bubbly cute balloons, and then all we're gonna do is twist them together by the neck, just like this, okay? Wrap one neck over the other. All right, so they're kind of tied together there or twisted together, I should say. And then we're gonna go ahead and tie those necks together, one over the other, pull it through, kind of yank on it a little, a little firmly so we know it's nice and secure. Not hard enough to rip it, but that is what we call a duplet or a pair. And that is the first little section of our creation today. Side note, how freaking beautiful are these colors together? I actually have a video coming out shortly on some of my favorite color combinations for spring. If you like this look, check that out. You might like some of the other ones I cover. Now we're gonna keep inflating. Now it's up to you whether you wanna like build this out and assemble it as you go, which honestly I kinda prefer to do if you're in a situation where you can do that. If you're building the entire thing on site or it's a party at your house, at your, you know, your sister's house, whatever, you have the chance. I kind of prefer this method, but if not, you 
you'll just want to do all your inflating ahead of time stuff all those clusters into like giant garbage bags or something I'll try and link some of the ones I use down below um, in the video description if that's helpful I know I get asked about that a lot how I transport things I shove them in these giant garbage bags as best I can and then I bring those all on site. Once you've set up your frame, you're ready to go. You pull your clusters out of the garbage bags, you tie them on here and you finish the whole thing off. But if you're in the position to do it all at one time, like I am right now, I love doing it this way. So all I'm gonna do is keep picking a couple different colors, couple different sizes at each time. I like to give it that variety. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. I wanna see that different dimension and shape and size and the color, all of it. So just mix and match. Get some 17, some 18 inch balloons, some 11 inch balloons, throw in a few fives, maybe a couple of 24s in there, and you're gonna have some beautiful dimension that then we can just kind of polish off at the end. So I'm gonna go in with a couple more here and keep creating my first cluster. All right, my next pair, my next duplet. Now I'm gonna do my two together twist method where I have two little pairs here. I put the centers together and I twist. Okay, now I've got what's called a quad here, my first little section of four. And I'm gonna go in and add a couple more pieces into that till I'm happy with it. And then we'll get it up on the frame. Uh, same thing here. I'm just putting the center together with the others and twisting a couple of those balloons together. And it's joined into the cluster with the rest of them. All right, so these clusters, like I said, they can be four balloons, six, eight, 10, 12, whatever feels good to you. This one here is eight balloons of all different sizes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the frame and show you how easy this is. So we're just gonna look for the opening here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the balloons through there. And if you want, you can twist a couple of the balloons together. Okay, to secure it on there. And then just kind of shape it and maneuver it so it looks the way you want it to. And we're gonna keep adding on to it just like that. Now, of course, I've always got my trusty 260s to hand. And if you think it's easier, we can totally tie these into the clusters, tie them onto here. I'm sure I'll be using this as we get towards the end. And it's like getting harder and harder to like squeeze those into place. But how stinking simple is it to just do something like that? You guys, it's so easy. All you need is the frame and some balloons and a, an inflator and you're good to go. All right, I wanna do a quick time out and share a tip with you guys. So I recently got this frame. This is the first creation I've ever done on a frame like this. Well, I've seen a ton of them over, over the years. Uh, I've never done one myself before. So I was kind of at a loss when I was planning out this video, planning out this design. I didn't totally know what I wanted to do. So what I do in situations like that sometimes is I just break out a sketch pad and literally just start doodling and drawing and, and seeing what comes to life. And ended up kind of falling in love with what I drew and, and what I designed and just, you know, sketched out real fast. So this is what that looked like. And so that's what I'm really drawing my inspiration from for this. So it doesn't have to look exactly like what I drew, what I designed, but that just helped me kind of get something in mind for this creation where I was really struggling to envision it before. So I want to kind of try and create something along those lines, something a little voluminous, a little fun, got a little shape to it, maybe throw in some details there, some florals, something like that at the end. So let's see how this beauty comes to life. All right, so we can go ahead and put our next piece in. Again, I'm just going to find kind of the center of this cluster, cross a couple of balloons over so it's secure, and then I can kind of push the two clusters closer together on the frame itself. Now I do wanna keep these pretty close together from the beginning so I have less space to fill in at the end. So the closer I can position those clusters together, wrap them in together, even smush them down together gently, carefully, don't wanna rip or pop anything, but that's gonna make life easier in the end. Now another tip I wanna share with you guys, when you're mostly working with one size and one color, so like rosewood, I have 11 inch, I don't have 16, 17, 18, I don't have five inch, I am pretty much just have the 11 for the bulk of the garland. I wanna inflate these 11s to very different sizes throughout so it doesn't look, doesn't look like cookie cutter, you know? It's not just 11, 11, 11, 11. I want it to have dimension. I want some to be smaller, some to be larger, some to be even smaller than that. You know, I can kind of create different size balloons even with this one size i can make it look like there's a lot more variety than there really is i also share some tips on that in my how to use five inch balloon videos if you'd like a little more on that all right i feel like it's time for a larger cluster as we're moving down here i want this to kind of get bulkier as it goes so i'm going to add a little more into this one 
right, this one's pretty large, got some pretty cool shape to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add that one in and see how we like it. Okay, so that's the basic gist of how we're gonna be building this thing out. If you wanna see how this frame was actually put together, how easy it was to set up, um, I will link that video separately. That's got its own tutorial. And again, if you're interested in the frame, link in the video description down below. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and inflate a bunch more clusters, add them onto this beautiful frame here, and then I'll come back so we can detail it together. All right, let's switch things up. I got a 260 here. All I'm gonna do is take the end, get it through the center here, make sure it's wrapped around a few different balloons, tie a super simple knot, just one end of this neck over the other, and then I have a cluster on a 260. Now, if I'm smart about this, I should be able to wrap this 260 in around the frame, get this cluster nice and close to the other one, and then use the other end to tie another cluster, maybe even two. So let's see how that goes. Let's pick, mm, Getting close to that bottom now, I'm gonna want some big bulk. Let me grab one of these larger ones. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one here. Okay, getting that 260 in place, getting this cluster nice and close to where I want, and then wrapping it around one or two of the balloons to hold it in place. Okay, now I can use the same 260 to start going in and securing my next one in place. So I'm gonna wrap it around the frame wrap it around a couple of balloons. Okay, and I've still got plenty to keep working with. So I can grab another cluster. I think I'll take this one. All right, and now this frame, it actually has water bags that come with it for the base to help hold it in place. So we're gonna wanna make sure we have enough bulk, enough detail, whatever, down at the bottom to cover those water bags so that's not visible. How cute is this looking, you guys? You see what I mean about this dimension, this variety, right? Like having these 17s, that 24, like that really makes the difference. So it's gonna take just a little bit of finagling to go ahead and fully hide these water bags. They're white, they kind of stand out. So we gotta do a good job hiding those from all angles. And then what I wanna do is go in with some detail, hide any remaining like holes, anything I don't want visible, and then add those little accents that are really gonna make this thing pop, bring it to life, and just give it that extra that I'm looking for. How cute is she looking at this point? Oh, you guys, I love it. So at this point I might add in a little more detail, but I want to bring out some accents. I have some aqua bubble bubble balloons. I have some florals we can use in similar colors in the same kind of palette, in the same zone. I think it's really going to add that extra pop. So let's see what that does to this. All right, to really polish this thing off, I think it could use some florals. Now, if you've seen my How to Work with Florals video, my Mother's Day 2021 video, these might look a little familiar. Um, I had made these at that time, but I think they're perfect for this creation. So we're just gonna go ahead and eyeball, kind of see if there's any spots that we wanna hide, anywhere that this would really make an excellent little like addition to, anywhere it's gonna like help bring the eyeballs through the design. Really just round it out, polish it off, and not only can we just like stick these in for the most part, but if you're more comfortable with it, if you want it to be extra secure, my trusty 260 is here for the job. So we can tie that in. These are already secure with 260s. You'll see it in the floral video. But um, we can just go ahead and tie that in, oof, just on top of it. And then I can use this to really secure it into the creation if we want that like extra piece of mind, which if it was for a paid client, I would. So I think this spot right here could use something extra. Again, we wanna be careful. We don't wanna pop anything here. But look, doesn't that add something so nice here? I've been playing with the idea of using this. I think it's Wisteria. I'm so bad with flower names if you know, let me know. But I was playing with adding this in. I just think it's too stark for the softness of this. We don't have any stark white. So I just think this is too bright, it's too much. I would love to use this in another creation. How cute would this look with a circle frame, with some draping florals. Oh, 
I would love it someday, but I don't think this is the day for it. You guys, I think this is it. The addition of these cute aqua bobos, plus the little bursts of florals every so often, it really just draws you in, helps like, just mm, adds that extra something, you know? Thanks so much for hanging out with me while this beauty got made today. I hope you all had as much fun watching it come to life as I had bringing it to life. Now don't forget, if you want to see the tutorial on how this frame got made, I will link that here. And I also have that video coming out real soon on the best balloon colors for spring, as well as combinations you can use, you know, kind of fail-proof, foolproof ideas here for some palettes for y'all. So if you're into that, go ahead, check those videos out. If you got any questions or comments for me, down in the comments below. I try to get back to as many of you guys as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video.